Welcome back to the Reef Care Program. The Foundation Program deals with those elements that are most significant in ensuring a stable environment which forms the foundation of any vibrant reef aquarium. The five foundation elements include the major elements, calcium, magnesium, and carbonate, as well as the trace elements, strontium and barium, that together are the basic building blocks of coral skeleton. So as corals grow, they constantly take these foundation elements out of the water, and in the limited volume of a reef aquarium, this has a significant effect on its water chemistry. The first concern for any reef aquarium, therefore, is maintaining optimal levels of all the foundation elements. We'll talk more about the optimal levels of the elements in a minute. However, our research has shown that the ratio among calcium, magnesium, and carbonate has a significant effect on both the strength and growth rates of coral skeleton. Skewed conditions such as low levels of magnesium or strontium can have serious consequences as the coral skeleton develops with a higher proportion of calcite, making it more brittle and susceptible to damage rather than the robust aragonite crystal structure. Our research has also shown that elevated balanced levels of the foundation elements will result in accelerated growth rates. Think of the soft tissue of the corals as a membrane separating the water of the aquarium from the water that is held inside the coral with biological pumps that move the elements from outside to inside. The conditions inside the coral need to be just right for precipitation to occur, which means there must be a much higher ionic strength internally than in the aquarium water. But growth uses up the elements. So new elements need to be brought through the membrane in order to maintain the necessary conditions. This requires a lot of energy. Higher levels of the foundation elements in the aquarium water allow some passive diffusion that simply reduces the amount of energy the coral needs to invest to maintain the conditions for growth. And therefore, the same amount of available energy will produce higher growth rates. On the other hand, if you have a mature reef system where accelerated growth is not what you're looking for, then natural balance levels of the foundation elements are what you want. Of course, if we're not spending energy on growth, we can invest it in coloration, but more about that later in the series. The optimal levels of foundation elements need to be set in line with the makeup of the specific coral population of your reef. The instructions we provide with the foundation program include a table indicated the recommended salinity and optimal balance levels of the foundation elements for all different types of aquariums. Hopefully this helps you understand the roles played by our two premium reef salts, the Coral Pro and Red Sea Formulas. They're both formulated to use with RO water and contain the same natural ingredients, including the unique sodium chloride naturally harvested from the Red Sea Reef. They both comprise optimally balanced ratios of the foundation elements, where Coral Pro has the elevated levels for accelerated growth, while Red Sea has normal levels set for mature systems. By using the right salt, according to your own goals, the water is ready for your reef straight after mixing. Well, that's our salts. But what about our supplements? There are actually three foundation supplements, A, B, and C. Foundation A is our calcium supplement. However, it also contains strontium and barium. Our research has shown that these key trace elements are only used in the coral skeleton and are found in a fixed ratio to calcium. Combining them with the calcium and dosing them according to a measured calcium uptake ensures the correct levels of all three elements without fear of overdosing the strontium or barium. Foundation B contains carbonate buffers and Foundation C is a mixture of magnesium salts. All three supplements are available in liquid or powder form. On the back of our packaging, we provide dosing charts to simplify use of our products. Let's take our calcium supplement as an example. The chart will show the recommended value of calcium for a given aquarium. So, if we have an SPS tank set for accelerated growth and our test measures a current level of, say, 440 ppm, the table shows that we need to add 13 milliliter of supplement for each 100 liters of aquarium water, which can be easily measured with the dosing cup we provide with each bottle. Simple, really. How often should I supplement? Well, 
In our instructions, we say that SPS are sensitive to daily fluctuations in water parameters, so supplement on a daily basis. Soft corals and LPS are much less sensitive and will do very nicely with a weekly supplementation. The foundation program includes individual high-precision test kits for each element as well as a master kit containing all three tests. Each test kit contains a pictogram instruction guide and a unique and easy-to-use handheld titrator. For all aquariums, we recommend testing for the foundation elements on a weekly basis and adjust the daily or weekly dosage accordingly. So, there you have it. Our foundation program contains the supplements and test kits which can best help you maintain the biologically balanced levels of the foundation elements that will ensure the optimal water conditions for your aquarium. To learn more about biological processes that are going on in your reef and the role of the other sub-program in the RCP, see each of the episodes in this series. So get with the program and make the most of your reef.